What is up YouTube, XCX Solutions here and today I am bringing you another JTAG tutorial and this is on how to install Xbox 360 game covers inside a Freestyle Dash. Now as you can see on screen I have none currently available and have zero of zero game covers and I'm going to be showing you step by step on how to install them. So without further ado, the first thing you're going to want to do is obviously launch Freestyle Dash. Once in Freestyle Dash, go ahead and go up to the settings tab, content settings, manage paths and and as you can see here I have three already done um, but all you want to do is press Y um, and for this video we're going to be doing Xbox 360 game covers so just choose Xbox 360 on both dev kit and the retail go to change path HDD1 which is your hard drive or if you have your game stored on the USB or an external hard drive just choose that drive go down to games and I'm going to choose Black Ops 1 so go ahead and go inside the Black Ops 1 folder so it should be HDD1 games and then Black Ops 1. Once inside your game, press Y to select the directory. Um, and then you want to count how many folders it's in. So as you can see, HDD1, that's one, games, that's two, and then Black Ops 1, that's three. So that will be scan depth of three. Change it to three and press X to save the changes. Go back to the dashboard and go back down. Go into Xbox 360 games. And as you can see, Call of Duty Black Ops 1 is here. So you can do a few things. You can change the layout by pressing X and it will change to a more 3D uh, kind of feel to it. And it looks pretty good and makes quite a nice sound. And if you press X again, it does another layout, which is again, pretty cool. And it looks like you're just taking the uh, the game out of the shelf, if you like. So uh, it's pretty, pretty simple. I'm just gonna add another one for tutorial sakes and go up to settings once again, content settings, manage game paths, press Y, go down to Xbox 360 because that's what we're adding, change path, HDD1, games, and let's do Black Ops 2, so go inside the Black Ops 2 folder and press Y to select the directory, so that's a scan depth of 3 once again, press X to save the changes, go back all the way to the dashboard, go back into Xbox 360 games, and as you can see, Black Ops 2 has now been added. So yeah, it's pretty, pretty easy, pretty quick to do. Um, personally, I like this layout, um, as it looks pretty cool in the uh, 3D kind of animation and stuff. Um, again, you can do some other things here. You can press uh, Y to go into the options. You can see screenshots, achievements, view saves. You can rename them, delete them, move the game, refresh the artwork. So if the artwork on the covers don't look up to scratch and they, they look a bit different, then you can refresh the artwork and that will actually download the covers from Freestyle Dash and put the cover on. So make sure that you're connected to the internet on your JTAG and that will do so. Um, and last but not least, you can manage the title updates and, uh, and basically download delete the title updates or even upload your own title update and set it as an active title update so that's pretty pretty cool um, and if I go ahead and click on the game it will give you a description of it it will tell you the title ID that is a shooter the company you can flip the cover left and right which is really cool and you can simply press a and it will launch the game so that's pretty cool I hope I've helped you in a way comment rate subscribe and all that good stuff and if you need help be sure to comment or add me on Skype the Skype is in the description below um, I hope you've enjoyed this video Comment, rate, subscribe and all that good stuff and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.